Do you remember the first time you held a Super Nintendo controller? Or perhaps your favorite SNES game? Today, we're going on a journey back in time, to the days when the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES as it's fondly remembered, first made its mark in the annals of video gaming history. Imagine the year 1990. The world of video games was on the cusp of a revolution. Amidst this transformative era nestled in the heart of Japan, a dream was being crafted. A dream of a video gaming console that would redefine the boundaries of entertainment and technology. This dream was the SNS. The anticipation was palpable. The gaming community was buzzing with whispers of a console that promised to transport them into fantastical worlds, brimming with adventure and excitement. The SNES was not just another addition to the gaming landscape, it was set to be a game-changer, literally and figuratively. Its vision was not born in a vacuum. It was the product of an ambitious and visionary team, led by the remarkable Masayuki Uemura. They were not just creating a piece of hardware, they were crafting an experience, an escape into realms of imagination previously unexplored. The journey was not without its challenges. There were technological hurdles to overcome, design philosophies to reconcile, and a market waiting with bated breath. Yet, the team pressed on, driven by the belief that they were creating something truly special. And they were right, the SNES was not just successful, it was groundbreaking. It introduced a new era of gaming, marked by innovative gameplay, immersive storytelling, and unforgettable characters. It wasn't just a console, it was a symbol of a cultural movement. The SNS was more than a machine. It was a testament to the power of imagination and the endless possibilities of technology. It was a beacon of innovation, illuminating the path for future generations of gaming consoles. It was the embodiment of a dream, a dream that continues to inspire and captivate gamers around the world, even today. The SNES was not just a gaming console, it was a dream brought to life by a visionary team. As we delve deeper into this saga, we'll explore the remarkable journey of the SNES from its inception to its enduring legacy. So let's dive in, shall we? Behind every great invention, there's a team of innovators. The SNS was no exception. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNS, was not just another gaming console. It was an act of technological defiance, a bold statement of ambition that would push the boundaries of what was then considered possible in the realm of video gaming. At the heart of this daring venture was a team of visionaries, led by the brilliant engineer Masayuki Uemura. Uemura and his team were driven by a singular design philosophy to create a gaming experience that was immersive, engaging, and above all, fun. This wasn't just about having the most advanced specs or the flashiest graphics, it was about crafting an interactive medium that could captivate players, transporting them into fantastical worlds where they could become heroes, explorers or champions. The SNES was a marvel of technological innovation. It boasted a powerful 16-bit architecture that allowed for vastly improved graphics and sound compared to its 8-bit predecessors. It introduced Mode 7, a unique form of graphical rendering that gave games a pseudo-3D look, adding depth and dimensionality to the gaming experience. And let's not forget the iconic controller with its ergonomic design and four face buttons, which set the standard for future gaming consoles. But this masterpiece didn't materialize out of thin air. It was the result of countless hours of brainstorming, prototyping and testing. Each component was meticulously designed and refined until it met the high standards set by Uemura and his team. Every circuit, every pixel, every note of sound was a testament to their unwavering dedication and passion for their craft. And yet, the true genius of the SNES wasn't in its hardware, but in the magical worlds it brought to life. It gave us the Mushroom Kingdom, Hyrule, and countless other unforgettable realms. It let us step into the shoes of Mario, Link, and a host of other beloved characters. It was, in every sense, a portal to other dimensions, a gateway to unbounded imagination. With its cutting-edge design, the SNES was destined to reshape the world of gaming. And as we'll see in the next scene, its journey to the market was a saga of its own, filled with challenges, triumphs, and lessons that continue to resonate in the industry today. Every great journey is filled with hurdles. The global launch of the SNES was no different. As we delve into the narrative of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, 
or SNS, we find that its journey to market was not without its stumbling blocks. Picture this. It's the early 90s and the anticipation for the SNES is palpable. But as we all know, the road to success is often paved with challenges, and the global release of the SNES was to be a test of resilience and determination. First up was the Japanese market. In November 1990, the SNS, known as the Super Famicom, made its first appearance. The demand was unprecedented, with the initial shipment of 300,000 units selling out within hours, but the euphoria was short-lived as a manufacturing fault in some units led to a recall. This was the first hurdle in the SNS saga, but it was swiftly overcome and production resumed. Next stop, North America. The SNES landed on American shores in August 1991. The competition was fierce. The gaming market was dominated by Sega's Genesis, which had a two-year head start and a formidable library of games. The SNS had to stand out, and it did. The advanced graphics and sound, coupled with a strong lineup of games, gave the SNS the edge it needed. But the journey was far from over. The European market awaited. The SNS launched in Europe in April 1992. The challenge here was different. The video game market in Europe was fragmented with various home computer systems vying for dominance. The SNS had to carve out a place for itself amidst this cacophony, and it did just that, proving yet again that quality and innovation can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. But the hurdles were not just geographical. There were also production challenges to contend with. The SNES was a technological marvel for its time, featuring cutting-edge graphics and sound capabilities. But this innovation came at a cost. The complex architecture of the SNES made it more difficult to manufacture, leading to production delays. But the team behind the SNES was undeterred. They pushed through these challenges, driven by their vision of delivering a superior gaming experience. These hurdles, daunting as they were, could not halt the march of the SNS. Each obstacle was met with determination and overcome with ingenuity. The SNES was not just a product, it was a testament to the spirit of perseverance and innovation that defined its creators. In the face of adversity, the SNES emerged triumphant. Its journey from an ambitious concept to a global phenomenon is a tale of determination, resilience and above all, a love for gaming. It's a story that inspires. A story that resonates with every gamer who has ever picked up a controller and stepped into a world of pixelated wonder. Despite the hurdles, the SNS found its way into the hands of eager gamers across the globe. Success in the gaming industry is measured by more than just sales figures. But let's not downplay the importance of those figures because they can tell a story of their own. And the story of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES, is one of resounding triumph. When the SNES launched, it faced fierce competition from other consoles in the market. Yet, it managed to carve its place in the gaming industry, selling a whopping 49 million units worldwide. This success was not merely a testament to its advanced technology and design, but also a reflection of the gaming experience it offered. The SNS was not just a console, it was a gateway to worlds of endless adventure and excitement. One such world was the Mushroom Kingdom, home to a certain plumber in blue overalls. Super Mario World was a launch title for the SNES and became an instant classic. Who could forget the joy of controlling Mario as he explored vibrant landscapes, battled quirky enemies and saved Princess Peach from the clutches of the villainous Bowser? The game was a masterclass in platforming design, introducing new gameplay mechanics like the iconic spin jump and the beloved dinosaur companion Yoshi. The SNES also gave us The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past. This epic adventure game set a new standard for the action-adventure genre, combining puzzle-solving, exploration, and combat in a richly detailed world. The game's compelling story, memorable characters, and innovative gameplay mechanics left an indelible mark on the gaming landscape. But the SNES was not a two-trick pony. It boasted a library of games that spanned various genres, from racing titles like F-Zero and Super Mario Kart to role-playing games such as Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger. Each game offered a unique gaming experience, ensuring that there was something for everyone on the SNES. These games did not just sell well, they resonated with gamers, providing them with experiences that they would cherish for a lifetime. They pushed the boundaries of what was possible in video games. 
showcasing the potential of the medium as a form of interactive storytelling. This commercial success was not limited to game sales. The SNS also spurred the growth of the video game accessory market with products like the Super Game Boy, which allowed Game Boy games to be played on the SNES and the Super Scope, an innovative light gun accessory. In conclusion, the commercial triumph of the SNES was not just about impressive sales figures. It was about the games, the experiences and the memories. The SNES did not just sell well, it introduced games that would become timeless classics. It created a legacy that would continue to inspire and entertain generations of gamers. It showed us that in the world of video games, success is not just about the numbers, but about the impact you leave on the hearts and minds of players around the world. The SNES didn't just sell well, it introduced games that would become timeless classics. The influence of the SNS extends far beyond the confines of the gaming community. This iconic console left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, reaching into the realms of popular culture, art and even education. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES for short, wasn't just a gaming console, it was a portal to different worlds, a storytelling device, a competitive arena, and a means of bonding with friends and family. It was a cultural revolution wrapped up in a sleek grey box. Let's delve into the impact of this legendary console. The SNES introduced a whole generation to the magic of interactive storytelling. Games like Super Mario World and The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, were not just games, they were epic sagas. These narratives were filled with memorable characters, intricate plots and moral lessons, all delivered through the medium of pixelated art. The artistry of these games cannot be overstated. They pushed the boundaries of what was possible with 16-bit graphics, creating vivid, colorful worlds that were packed with detail. This artistic innovation had a profound effect on the world of digital art, inspiring countless artists and designers. The SNES also had a significant impact on music. With its advanced audio capabilities, it brought about a new era of video game music. Composers were able to create complex layered soundtracks that added depth to the gaming experience. These soundtracks have stood the test of time, with many still being enjoyed and remixed by fans today. In terms of education, the SNES played a pivotal role. Educational titles like Mario's Early Years series used the power of interactive gaming to make learning fun and engaging. For many, the SNS was their first introduction to concepts like problem solving, critical thinking and hand-eye coordination. But perhaps the most profound impact of the SNS was on the gaming community itself. It fostered a sense of camaraderie and shared experience among gamers. Friends would huddle around the console taking turns to defeat Bowser or conquer Hyrule. These shared experiences created lifelong friendships and sparked a love for gaming that has endured for decades. The legacy of the SNES continues to resonate. It set the standard for what a gaming console should be. It showed that games could be more than just mindless entertainment. They could be immersive emotional experiences. Today, every time a game makes us laugh, cry or cheer, we're experiencing the legacy of the SNES. The SNES wasn't just a console, it was a cultural phenomenon that shaped a generation. It touched lives and influenced industries, it created a community and left a legacy. And above all, it showed us the power of play. Because at the end of the day, that's what the SNES was all about. The joy of playing, the thrill of adventure, and the magic of stepping into another world. And that, dear friends, is a legacy worth remembering. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System a console that transcended its time. As we bring our exploration of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System to a close, we're reminded of the magnitude of its influence in the gaming world. From its inception, it was clear that the SNS was not just another gaming console. It was a beacon of technological advancement, a testament to the ingenuity of its creators, and a symbol of an era that would forever change the landscape of video gaming. The ambitious design goals set by the visionary team, led by the remarkable Masayuki Wemura, resulted in a console that was light years ahead of its time. The SNES was not just about playing games, it was about experiencing them. And to this day, the immersive experiences it offered remain unparalleled. The global launch of the SNS was no small feat. It was a journey marked by logistical and manufacturing challenges, but the team's determination and resilience paid off. 
leading to a commercial triumph that exceeded all expectations. With iconic games like Super Mario World and The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, the SNS not only captured the hearts of gamers worldwide but also etched its name in the annals of gaming history. But the legacy of the SNES extends beyond its commercial success. It has had a profound cultural impact that resonates with gamers to this day. The SNES was more than just a console. It was a cultural phenomenon that brought people together, transcending boundaries of age, nationality and language. It fostered a sense of community and shared experiences, creating lasting memories for millions of gamers around the globe. As we reflect on the monumental impact of the SNES, we are reminded of the power of innovation and the limitless potential of the human spirit to create experiences that bring joy, excitement and a sense of wonder. So next time you pick up that controller, remember the epic legacy of the SNES. And until next time, keep gaming! Thanks for watching our video on the epic legacy of the SNES. This journey through the history of one of the most iconic gaming consoles wouldn't have been possible without the passion of the gaming community. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to share it with your fellow gamers. Whether they're seasoned veterans or newcomers to the world of gaming, we're sure they'll appreciate the rich history and cultural impact of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And remember, the story of gaming doesn't end here. Stay tuned for more exciting content as we delve into the history of other gaming giants and the games that have shaped our world. Until next time, keep gaming and sharing the love.